What is up, everybody? Escape211 here. We are on the test server, and we are looking at the new weapon I got on the Stalker here. This is the Disruptor 6, all right? So we got a new type of set. This is a legendary missile weapon. It's actually not really a missile that it shoots out. It's more of like a green uh, orb. Um, and you'll see right away that this is more about having a devastating, like, splash type of damage, as well as path damage on this. This has no damage fall off, low projectile speed. Other stuff is kind of similar to missiles, but let's look at the stats and you'll kind of get an idea of the pros and cons of this weapon. Right away, though, the stat sheet for this does not look all that impressive. All right, if you look at the damage per magazine, damage per shot, it's the same because there's only one uh, that fires out of the chamber before it has to reload. It has a reload of 5.5 seconds. Not the longest reload, but with a single fire, this is going to feel like EMs in that sense, all right? The problem is that the actual damage per shot is not very high. If you look at the missile damage here, and you compare that to, like, the Missile Rack 6, this is higher, but only by a few hundred. Not, not that high, all right? So this is not like a high DPS machine, at least in that same sense, all right? Uh, this also doesn't have a whole lot of range, but it's a missile, so you wouldn't usually expect that. Those usually don't have great range. Some of them have a little bit over 100 meters, though, like 120, 150, I think. Um, so this one is less. And the projectile speed is super slow. All right, missile racks are already pretty darn slow, but they're way faster than this. Uh, so this is a really slow moving projectile. So with all of that, oh, also there's potentially a shot delay. Now, I can't really notice the shot delay on the test server. Um, so this is important to note just because we've had issues before with other things that either have shot delay or like the Redeemer that was supposed to have a delay. And those didn't really actually show up until they kind of fixed it later. I've asked the developers about this to know if like this shot delay is accurate, at least in terms of being used right now. So it may be different on the actual server than what I'm experiencing here on the test server it doesn't really feel like there's much of a shot delay at all this is actually a shorter shot delay than that of the em rifles but it's still you know a shot delay and it, it doesn't really feel noticeable at all so keep that in mind i mean this may feel like a quote unquote or in parentheses nerf later on if they introduce the shot delay when it's actually supposed to be here in the onset but yeah i mean with all that you can see that it's overall dps um it's single chamber fire it's range it's projectile speed, shot delay, not a lot of good stuff going for it, but that's really offset by this whole idea of the path damage and then the damage radius, all right? Uh, both of these are set at seven meters, which is pretty good, but the idea is that, of course, it'll have a damage radius. We've seen that kind of stuff before. When it hits, you'll have splash damage, but it also has a path damage. As this slow-moving orb is going through, anything in the range of the path will take kind of like damage incrementally every 0.3 seconds. So you actually can hit multiple targets or even a single target multiple times some in the front some in the side maybe some even in the back as this travels through them depending on how you aim and how it actually hits the target so um, the idea of this with the splash damage can actually be really really good but um you know it's single damage uh is not that high so you know this is this is the area where it's going to shine in relation to that this also can bypass some shields which is handy not really overly significant um, but yeah, as far as the radius goes, one thing I want to say about this seven meters isn't super amazing. All right. Uh, it's a little bit more, I think, than the regular missile racks. Uh, not as much as the VRPG, which is 7.5. And obviously disc launchers is a bigger damage radius. But the difference here is that this weapon actually has a legendary radius implant. VRPGs do not have a radius implant at all. And disc launchers only have an epic one. So this can potentially have a really high damage radius similar to that of the disc launchers. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's pretty darn similar. So there is a lot of potential in this weapon. And the six, of course, is not going to shine super well, but I do, obviously, since it's the first one we get, I'll show you uh, a game that I had earlier. Um, I will say first, pay no attention to the fact that this is maxed out. <laughs> I, uh, I maxed these out for play after I shot this match, so I'm just recording this intro afterwards, but you'll see uh, my, my match here. So here we go. All bots, as to be expected. Uh, I will have my build up, I guess. I'll probably talk about it in the intro, but there's a build anyway. Um, you'll notice my build is not super OP. Uh, I tried to pick stuff that you would have roughly in tier four. I'm quite sure this weapon is gonna fall in tier four because that's where the other legendary six uh, energy weapons like the minigun and the EMs and stuff sit. All right, you can already see there maybe, 
a little bit of the, the path damage as it went through that target and it hit it a couple times. So um, even though this weapon is not like it's a single fire, there's potential to hit a target multiple times. It definitely depends on their movement and how you shot this. So it may not easily get all that extra shot damage in, but it's possible. All right, this, this map is actually quite good for this weapon, uh, especially the position I'm in right now, because I'm able to watch the center. I'm able to watch the uh, side lane as well as this bridge. And uh, this path damage will come in really handy at just at staving off anything that comes through. Um, but I mean, it is, you know, kind of campy, right? I'm, I don't have to go too far. I can pretty much stay back here, super low exposure. Very similar to EM play, but it's not going to be as good close up or super far away. It's it's a mid-range EM type build, but with splash damage. This is like if you took the EM rifles um, and, uh, you know, and the, uh, the disc launchers, they had a baby and it was a missile weapon, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? That's that's how this feels. Um, so it's like the mid-range uh, disc launcher. I mean, mid-range um, EM rifle type weapon, but plays like disc launcher. Um, there's a lot of potential for this. I could see where on small maps this would dominate, uh, depending on, like, the stuff it hits in its path. Uh, and it, it also can work really well, like, in CPC like it is here right now. With good position, you can do a lot of area denial. Um, you may not necessarily kill stuff, but, I mean, I'm even doing pretty good killing. I mean, this is where it would naturally fall in its power level, and I feel like it does well here. Obviously, I paired it with Stalker to get the added damage, but Stalker would be the main thing you get and use in tier four anyway. So, you know, this is this is a, a realistic pairing in my mind for optimal play. So, uh, you know, not, I mean, it's it's quite, quite good. I've been very impressed with it. Uh, I do think, you know, especially as we see the higher versions of this, it will still be very strong. Like I said, even though the single shot damage is weak, um, you're gonna have splash, you're gonna have side and back damage, you're gonna have the path damage that'll get in multiple shots. And uh, because the HP of mechs in general is less efficient or more deficient than damage, as we get up into higher calibers, which I assume we're gonna see like a 12 and a 16 or something like that, it will be very effective. But that's my overall thinking, guys. Um, I, I do think that this weapon has a lot of potential. Obviously, the six is going to be limited. Um, you may do some stuff with it, uh, but I, you know, I, I don't really think it's all that impressive, just like any six energy weapon. Um, so you're not really going to be too dependent on that per se. Uh, but I think overall, there's a lot of potential for this to be in people's hangers. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of crowded, right? So we have the disc launcher builds, probably multiple of those. Or railguns or EMs, um, but this to me seems like it. You know, as we get into higher calibers, has more potential than like miniguns or grav beams or other stuff, possibly. Uh, so you know, that's my overall thinking. And just again, a lot of potential out of this bad boy. But um, you guys can let me know what you think. Do you think this is going to be a regular for many people, a mainstay, uh, or do you think the DPS per shot is going to be too low? Definitely has some downsides, but I overall think it has a lot of potential. So you guys can let me know your thoughts, and we will see you out there on the battlefield.